Synagogue, everyone. Uh, this is our Wednesday video. We are actually going to be uh, doing something fun to commemorate the fact that David Lynch actually did receive his honorary Oscar, his uh, Lifetime Achievement Oscar. So um, I ordered some of his coffee from Allegro. Well, in this case, espresso, because I'm a maniac. And when there's long editing, I need as much caffeine as humanly possible so I can get as little sleep as possible to get certain things done. So I make sure these videos get out on time. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make this, and then I'm going to review the coffee. So let's do it. To make your David Lynch Signature Blind Coffee Organic Espresso by Allegro Brands Coffee, you're going to need a few, not that much actually. You're going to need your David Lynch Signature Organic Espresso. Uh, you're going to need some water, which I have now put here in a mocha cup coffee, which, um, it is presently here. There is a fill line. Uh, these can typically fit one to three cups, depending on the size that you get. That's where the water is going to boil. This is where you're going to put the espresso so that it, the water can go through there and blend with it. And this is where it pours into. Notice the spout. That's where the finished boiled coffee will go up to and fill into that reservoir. And then it's delicious ground the blended and brewed espresso to pour. But don't forget, first thing you gotta do is right. next thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is you're gonna wanna open it. So in this case, you're going to peel off the sticker. And then there's, sometimes it's easier to open in this case, it might actually be smell that. Oh yeah, no, this is this is a good one. Just gonna look at that. Oh yeah, that's a good one. This next part I'm going to do kind of off camera because it is going to take some uh, some careful prep and readiness because when you're actually filling this part where it goes, you do have to actually pack it in there a little bit. So, going to... Also, I feel like it'd be a damn shame if it's shown on camera me dropping any of this, both because of the David Lynch brand coffee and just the fact that I mean, our counters are pretty simple. Oh god, I, and it just happened. Alright, after I've already had one accident with this, I'm going to put this here and then spoon it so you guys can see this. And then I'm going to clean up after myself because I'm a dirty boy. Alright, so there we go. I'm now going to pack this in. It should look like this. And at which point, you put that here. And then from there, you just do this. This would give me problems. So now, everything's ready. First thing you do is you put on the burner. Or I should say, you steal hurry out. It should take about five minutes to actually brew. So we're gonna let that happen. As you can see here, the coffee is actually starting to come through the spout as I mentioned earlier. So this is just about done. Uh, when it is done, we're actually going to go back to the room and I'm going to actually uh, drink it and sample it. So, be right back. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. So, how is the coffee? Let's see. I've got... The band books mug, 
you can actually see there's a couple on here um, that are based on Criterion works, or I should say Criterion works are based on them. We've got Naked Lunch, we've got 1984 on here. Um, we've got a couple other ones, one that has actually made really good films as well. This is the vessel. Here's the liquid. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm pouring it in here as such. Usually you can make it a smaller bit of a cup. I'm actually just going to have to give it a go. Now, apparently, according to my fiance, who's a coffee snob, um, you can't put anything in here. So I'm having this just straight up. Just nothing in there. What I do have, though, are biscuits. Because nothing goes better with coffee than baked goods. Or crackers, in this case. Like, not sugary sweet crackers. So, how is this? Well, let's see. First off, I want to point out the smell is really good on this. Like, the smell alone would wake me up for this. Like, this smells exactly what I remember every time I would go to the IFC Center to watch a midnight showing, and I would need a perk up, so I would get this coffee at the IFC Center. For those of you who are not close to the New York area, um, that's a movie theater in um, the village. It used to be called the Waverly Theater. Uh, it's now called the IFC Center. A lot of IFC films are actually premiered there, and um, they actually will usually sell Criterions, which, oddly enough, is how I got the one out of print for regular price that I've ever gotten. So uh, if you're near ever in the city and you want to go to an art house theater, that's one of the many that you'd be able to have access to in the city. So I'll definitely recommend going there. And you know, one day I'll take you guys there on a future video when I go to see something there. Now, got the smell. Honestly, this video could have literally be 10 minutes of me smelling this coffee. That's how good this smells. Like, Allegro is actually a really good and well-known brand for coffee. Uh, they're the ones that actually are the primary organic coffee distributor for Whole Foods. So um, this is not like an unknown. These guys have quality coffee. So, got the smell. The smell is something I'm going to be infatuated with from now until this box is unfortunately gone. And then I'll get the regular coffee when we try that next. But how is the coffee or the espresso? Let's see. Ooh, oh, oh, this is strong. <laughs> good. Like, it's really good. Like, I maybe because it's hot got like a one hundredth of a sip in, but the flavor is just so robust in this that it hit me right away. And it's not a bad thing. This is a very great, earthy blend of coffee. And, like, it hits you. So, like, again, this is wake-up powder. That is then turned into a liquid. That's what this is. So I'm going to try another sip. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Like, this is, this is kind of fantastic. I'm, I'm going to recommend my fiance have a cup of this at some point. But... To have the biscuit. So honestly, you can probably get these for about eleven dollars per bag, and it's worth it. I'm going to be honest with the price of coffee normally. This is a higher level of coffee, so I would suggest doing this, especially if you're in a job that requires you have weird overnight hours or where you have to stay up late for whatever reason, which um, I've done with editing and I've done with my time in stand-up comedy as well. So uh, I, I would definitely recommend this as a keep yourself perked up in the late hours way or also to wake you up after a rough night because this is strong with a capital S. So the thing is, though, it's strong, but it's not like caffeine -y for the sake of being caffeine. -y. It's got a good amount of flavor. This one is actually, um, yeah, no, this is the David Lynch signature blend. He's a coffee snob. So if he's signing off on this coffee, much like him signing off on special features for a Criterion release, you know the quality's there. So this is sold through Allegro Coffee. Like I said, I highly recommend getting this coffee. Like, I may this week wind up ordering a bag of the regular coffee to have as well at my disposal to be like our new bag of coffee. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Let's get through the rest of the week. Don't forget, you can subscribe to me on 
Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Hipster Punchy. And I will see you guys Friday when I do my haul video.